Let me tell you why I'm not a huge fan of the current standard hair typing system. According to the 1A to 4C hair system, we're both 4B, 4C because our curl patterns are a mix of tight coils and kinks. But that doesn't really tell you anything about hair care. This hair type system doesn't give you any insight on how to stretch your hair, how many sections you should put your hair into, how much heat your hair can handle, how much protein to use, how to keep it moisturized, how to style and protect it, and how to use products correctly. The term 4C only gives you a small piece of the story. So back in this video, I came up with the Green Beauty Complete Hair Typing Chart that puts into account the whole picture. Because there's way more that makes our hair special than just texture and curl pattern. The purpose of the last three videos, including this one, are designed to help you tell what porosity your hair is. Over time, I'll post more videos that go over the other four characteristics on the chart. But for now, let's focus on porosity because it's the most important one. When we talk about porosity, we tend to focus on extremes. But according to a handful of comments, a lot of you notice that you fit characteristics from both the high and low porosity groups. So I think it's important to go over medium or balanced porosity hair types. For length retention, the medium section of this chart is pretty much the goal. Naturally high porosity hair types can only achieve this temporarily with a consistent regimen that helps to reinforce weak cuticles. And low porosity hair types can become medium by gradually increasing their porosity without causing too much damage. So how do you know when your hair's porosity is in the medium range? Well, the first obvious thing is that hair with medium porosity can retain length with the least amount of work. Where low porosity hair needs heat for products to penetrate and high porosity hair loses moisture and dries out quickly, medium porosity hair is the best of both worlds because it doesn't need extra assistance to absorb products and it can stay moisturized for a few days. Where complicated tangles are typical for high porosity hair and single strand knots for low porosity, for medium porosity hair, both tangles and knots are a reality, but not a major issue. Also, where high porosity hair can be stretched with little effort, but it takes more work to stretch low porosity hair, hair that's more balanced in porosity is somewhere in the middle. Its shrinkage is not as tight as low porosity hair, so if it's detangled, it's easier to get a smooth, somewhat stretched twist out without the use of heat. Another easy way to tell if your hair is more balanced in porosity is in the way it holds up styles. Hair that's high in porosity tends to take in a lot of moisture from the air easily. So even on a regular day, the second you step outside, your hair puffs up and completely loses its pattern. On the other hand, hair that's on the lower end of porosity has super tight cuticles that block moisture from entering and escaping easily. Heatless styles done on wet hair tend to tighten a lot and can hold a stiff twist out pattern for days. Overall, if you watched the last videos on high and low porosity and felt like your hair's behaviors were not as extreme and somewhat in the middle, your hair most likely has a more balanced porosity. Use all this information to gauge where your hair is. It's not something you have to get exactly right at first. With trial and error, trust me, you'll get it right eventually. It's called a healthy hair journey for a reason. As long as you're not completely ignoring your hair, you're paying attention to how it acts and using trial and error to find what it likes, over time you'll understand more and more and these videos will become more of a reminder on stuff you already know. So now that we have a better idea of how high low and medium porosity hair behaves and looks like. In the next video, we're going to clear up some confusion for people who notice that they have multiple porosities on different sections of their head. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.